not so much the hot it's the speed dude. Yeah, I'd really went fast. Oh. They make them tough up here. Whoa! And that goes for the birds too. That's the next generation. We can do it. <laughs> We're on the edge of the Peak District at the Upward Estate on Saddleworth Moor for some extreme partridge and pheasant. We have nine guns, so we left to right, one on the left, nine on the right. We'll turn on nine and we'll go up two today. Everyone remember that, that's name one to remember. <laughs> Confuse everyone. Andy is a guest of clothing company Jack Pike as a thank you for his time helping with next season's catalogue. Some of the guns have shot here before, so know what to expect. Andy hasn't, but he did get a sneak preview yesterday in between smouldering poses in front of a camera. I said, smouldering poses. We was up on the dam there yesterday taking some pictures of different clothing and that in the new Jack Pike range for the catalogue. And they walked up the hill, and I don't know if you can see the hill in the background there. There were some partridges went over the top, they turned and come straight back across and come back over to the other side here. I don't know what speed they were going, what well, the height was just unbelievable. There were some good guns here yesterday and, and they were, well, well, they were struggling a little bit. The first drive is a bit of a warm-up for Mr Crow with Mrs C loading. The pheasants are pretty green at this point in the season, but with plenty of shots further down the line, the dogs start working. Hannah is James the Gamekeeper's fiance. She loves working the dogs and Brash is on second camera for us. He's not the only one likely to get wet today. Way! <laughs> Lucky that water ain't wet. Be careful. He's alive. He's right, it's not that bad. Yeah, I'll swing it up. Big throw, Harry. Keep running. Keep running. You're right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. The guns move up the valley and are lined out up a steep slope. A lot of partridge here on this one apparently. They're going to come along and apparently they curl across the, they come from the top of the, the hill there and curl back round through here and go back out behind us apparently. What a place. Crow of course is looking smart today in all the latest kit. Do you like dressing up? Do I like dressing up? We've got moleskin, waistcoat, breeks. Uh, 
These are the new socks they're doing. Uh, new jumper, new shirts. <laughs> my, my idea of dressing up is green clothes for work, but, but no, it's good stuff and it's comfortable stuff. The drive starts and Crow is on these amazing birds straight away. The birds were up there, and so was the drive, one of the most impressive we've seen. Phenomenal. That was serious, that was. Yeah. I found my way there. Yeah, I got on them really well. I had some really cracking shots out across the reservoir there. I had some nice incomers. Yeah. That was, that was awesome, it really was. One of the best drives you've done, do you think? It's one of the best ones I've filmed, I reckon. I think you're right there, David, yeah. I think it is. It's got to be one of the best drives I've ever done. What went out were good birds, but the partridges are just unbelievable. That's a long way from up there down to here. They were curling around and, and cutting across. They wanted to be the other side. But no, that was awesome. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> I had a couple of nice left and rights there, and they were boff. I, I changed the choke after the last, last drive, really tightened it up. And, when it hit, you either hit them or, or you don't, and it was really smacking them. You couldn't see Hope them. you got them on, uh, on the camera, David. Pressure. Pressure, loads of pressure, David. I've got loads of pressure, so about time you had a bit. Black gold. Uh, I'm using uh, 36 grams. 36 grams. Pause. The thing is, it, you can't get no deader than dead, so you're better off using a bigger pellet. So. But no, it's, it's gone really well. Oh, forget that. Some of the biggest birds I've shot. Time to get our breath back and dissect the sporting action. There's one drive left before lunch and it feels like an old western with the beaters high above us, sending signals from the rocks above the pass and about to launch an assault. They're coming from the top of that hill. Going over to the top of that hill. Well, you see where the beaters are up on the top there, look. The good thing on this drive, you put a camera on the end. I suppose you want me to follow everyone down there. You've got time, yeah. If I get any, I will. Wow. Yes! Again and again. Quick, 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 quick. Absolutely unbelievable. Still just unbelievable. There's one there. You wouldn't even put a gun up to it. Look at that pheasant, David. Quick, quick, quick. Yes! It's David, up there! Holy! Yes! Behind it up! Up! Yes!
what an experience, and all credit to James and his tight-knit crew. That was just phenomenal. There was partridge one after the other after the other. There's so I didn't even bother shooting that, they were so high. But oh, I had some corkers on there. Some of the best pheasants I've ever shot, and definitely the best partridge. Um, I had a nice left and right of pheasants, and right across, they were up there. I was happy to get one and it just happened there was a hen bird coming along beside it I thought I just carried on the same lead, absolutely smashed it. And I did the same with uh, some partridge as well. Oh, it was just unbelievable, unbelievable. I just, oh, I was really oh. <laughs> How was that compare? Ah, nothing compares with that, I tell you, nothing. I say there's quite a few shot this this year and they've put it like quite high up in the list. Oh, well. I've never seen anything like that. There was partridge coming off there. I didn't even bother putting my gun up. It was no. waste of time. Like well, I say, we do that sometimes. I don't think we're going to bother today, but that's even higher. What were, average shot count here, eight to one, something like that? Yeah, I was thinking it was all of that, I lied, yeah. I lied the other day, 50 shots for four birds, and he's a good shot. Yeah, I, I had a job. Well, I found them in the end. I had a couple of nice left and rights at pheasants, nice left and rights at partridge, and, but there was a hell of a lot there. Didn't touch them. No, I've got didn't to touch them. I wanted to show you. I wanted you to uh, see it. I've, I've never, ever seen anything like it. No. Never. No. There was some come off that top there, yeah. and they went across to the top of that hill, and they were like little pins. Jerry that put you out, he goes up here and gets behind them, and then brings them back, and then like this window here, yeah, just surround it and let them come in dribs and drabs. They're phenomenal, awesome. absolutely yeah. phenomenal. You see why we booked up, can't you? Like uh, in a way, uh, he, that sort of you shoot, quality. You shoot one of them parts, you know, and yeah. that just makes it. But I think they're all out at the top were cock pheasant. It were an awesome, yeah. absolutely yeah. awesome. Enjoyed it then. Phenomenal. Yeah. Cheers, mate. <laughs> More and more shooters are after the extreme birds and it does take the sport to a different level. It's all very well having this incredible landscape, but you've got to choreograph the birds around it. I mean, it must be a hellish challenge. Yeah, wind's a nightmare. Wind, can't do nothing with wind, they'll either go under it or they'll get on the wind and go away. Our predominant wind's the southwest, so we've made two drives to fit the southwest wind. Uh, but like you say, you've got the topography, you've got the hills, all these birds have to do is fly level and they're, they're awesome. So we uh, tend to predominantly pheasants because later season the partridge drop off. But uh, these partridge here, they're absolutely stunning. They were, I don't think you'll find partridge like that in many places, one coming back here. Uh, the guns come from all over, there's a, there's a massive demand. The, this sort of shooting's, I think, where, where your market is now. Everyone wants the extreme stuff, the high stuff, the quality. So we just try our best. We've got a good team of beaters. We've got 12, 12 that come every single shoot. And uh, they know the runs, They've, they have the crack. We give them a good beaters day and we look after them the best we can and keep that team together. And everyone knows the runs and we seem to get, seem to get round the birds pretty well. You must be pretty proud of what's gone on here. Yeah, as a family we're really happy. You keep hearing your name bounced around the big boys that are shooting every single week. Got people that are queuing to come and we're really happy. But there is, there is quite a bit of pressure with it. Quite a bit of sleepless nights in the summer when the foxes are turning up. But I think the key next year is try and make a few new drives higher up this valley. Try and get a few more parties settled earlier and see what we can do. There's one more scheduled drive left and it's looking ominous. The beaters look like ants on a skyscraper. I haven't used anything else, I haven't been using the series, so I want to concentrate on this now. You keep chopping and changing guns, it, it's never good. So I'm sticking with this one at the moment. So all the shooting I've done at the moment, it's been, it's been with this. And uh, it's paying off. Once again, the Upperwood Estate challenges the guns. It's been quite a day. It's one of those days you're never going to forget. I shot one of the best, one of the best parties of the day here. It come out and it was absolutely stonking. I thought, well, I'll give that one and absolutely killed it, stone dead. I was really happy with that. Um, missed a couple of silly ones, but the thing is, they're a bit, some of these were a little bit lower than the others, so I think I was just give, overcooking it a bit, just giving it a bit too much lead. No, they, they run a good shoot here, really good shoot. 
It's a sporting day that will be talked yeah. about and relished for many years to come. For more from Jack yeah. Pike, visit jackpike.co.uk and to contact someone about going shooting at the Upperwood Estate, search for it on Facebook.